Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me in the beautiful sunshine of Spain to experience this, the Pagani Zonda F. Now this car belongs to my friend Mike, Shin Mike Yin. He's been on the channel many times before and has quite the growing collection of Paganis, this being one of them. And in fact, I actually filmed this very car eight years ago in England. The steering wheel used to be on the other side. It was converted from right-hand drive to left. Now you possibly just heard in the background over here, the Bugatti Veyron firing up. We've got the Veyron, the Gambala Mirage, the Delage D12 is actually over there as well. There are quite a few cars around because we've had supercar owners circle out here in the Marbella region. But today is about this, the Pagani Zonda F. The epic Zonda, the car that for so many is a poster car. It's a car that's going crazy in value. Mike has a particular love of these things. So let's catch up with him. Let's find out what it's all about. And let's head out for a run here in Spain in the Pagani Zonda F. It's departures day from SOC. The Bugatti Veyron are heading out with Essa to be loaded up. This is also Mike's Gembala Mirage GT. And I talked about what this color would be like in the sunshine. Check this out. The paintwork is unreal. One of only 25 of the upgraded Porsche Carrera GT. Look at this. That is nuts. That paint color is absolute madness. I, I actually didn't realize how crazy it would be. We also have here the Delage D12, which was presented during this event as well. We've got a 7.6 litre naturally aspirated V12 in a tandem seating position. Plus, in the car park, you can see many of the cars have disappeared. But let's go find Mike and go and talk about the Pagani Zonda lurking just over here. Yo, Mike. Hello, Tim. Good to see you again. You too. Another day, another Zonda. Yes. Mr. Zonda. Oh, thank you. <laughs> literally, literally. Zonda R, Zonda F, F Roadster, this one. This one used to be in the UK. Yes. Used to have the steering wheel on the other side. Yep. Did you swap that? Of course. You had it made left hand Yes. This particular car, otherwise, though, is a completely factory F. Almost, but it's got all the Cinque parts, new HP exhaust. Yes. So it sounds amazing. We've got to talk about the exhaust. The exhaust on this is absolutely <laughs> ludicrous. The other thing we need to do is get it started because okay. it's way too hot. Um, do you mind doing the honors? Yes. Kick it into action, get it, uh. get, get it inside, cooled down. Let's have a quick look in here. Beautiful cabin. The colors, you haven't changed any of the colorway or anything. No, not yet. It's all exactly as it was. All right, let's hear it then. Come on. Ridiculous. It sounds amazing. Whoa. Sounds absolutely amazing, but um, air conditioning, right? Yes, it's <laughs> so hot. Full AC. What a car. So listen, talk to me, Mr. Mr. Zonda. <laughs> You're like, I look up on ECR when I need to know information about cars. Yeah, I do the same as well. But you literally just know it all. We were talking Only about the different the cars. You're, you're rattling off the chassis <laughs> numbers. You're, you're like, you know everything about every car because these things are special. Which was your first Zonda? My first Zonda was the Zonda R actually. Was it? Yes. You went straight in at the deep end, having had the BC, which we've also been out in. Yep. You had a Huayra Roadster, yep. a fair few of these things. <laughs> You went full Pagani. Well, this is the thing, you know, after getting one Zonda, it just never ending. It's a bug. They're investments, they're special, they're the most exciting cars out there. Because I have a few friends who has multiple Zondas. At the beginning, I have no idea why. Yeah. Now I fully understand why. Because they're all different, right? Every yeah, car every car is different. different. Yes. Even down to the different Fs, they all drive differently, they all feel different. They do, yeah. And you can have different setup, like some with Cinque Pipe, some with different yeah. So you can, you know, that's very, very special. So when you said this car has the Cinque parts on it. The, the Cinque that's splitter. That's the front lip. Yeah. So what's the normal lip just doesn't have this extended Yeah, basically profile. it just stops here. Yeah, okay. And uh, Cinque wing. Yeah, which I think is one of the best looking wings that was ever done. Yeah. Some of the newer cars have massive wings. Yeah. You know, the 760, and we'll talk about the future. <laughs> we'll get to that, not right yeah. now. We're gonna talk about the future for some of your cars. Cinque diffuser. Yeah, so that's not yeah. normal either and uh, HP exhaust. Yeah, which sounds amazing as we're going to hear plenty of on the road. Yeah. Did this car always have the tinted red carbon parts? Mm, yeah, this car has, and I think most of the F and F roasters have this as well. Okay, do they? I think because it's, it's, this is probably the first color carbon they introduced. Yeah, yeah. 
And this is chassis 130? No, this is chassis 88. This is 80, of course, I'm so stupid, <laughs> sorry. This is 88, the blue one's 130. Yes. The blue one's 130, this is 88. Obviously your number, the plate, everything. Of course. This is like yours on the. This is the best chassis number I can have. You know? So when you got this one, it was like, yes. Yep. Literally, well, literally I was going through ECR and <laughs> see what cars <laughs> I can find. Yeah. And uh, I found out who the owner is some little contact and I got it. <laughs> amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing. Let's let it cool down a touch more, then we're heading out. Yes. Go have some fun. Okay. Let us climb in. Is it getting cooler? Much better now. Oh, seats are warm. Yeah. Spanish sunshine, hey? All right. At least you didn't bring the rain this time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Normally wherever I go, the rain comes. Yes. Whether it's the Nürburgring, whether it's Croatia, Germany, we have a tour. Autobahn. Yeah, true, we did drive on the Autobahn in the rain. In the rain. <laughs> in the Zonda. Yes. <laughs> As you do. Whoa, that's very hot. Isn't yeah, it? that's downside of a metal shifter. <laughs> Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> I have exactly the same problem in my Lotus Amira, which has a metal shift knob. It's yeah. so, so bad. The Mirage, I gotta say, by the way, is looking insane in the sunshine. We're gonna have to go out in that at some point. Oh, sure. We can do it later if you want. <laughs> see, see if we've got time. Maybe not today, but okay. Oh, AC. Oh, yeah. It's like 2,000 RPM. So all the Zonder Fs were manual, but yep. this car normally you shifted it with your left hand, not with your right. <laughs> yes, it was a right-hand drive. Everybody car. goes crazy. <laughs> do Do you find this overwhelming? Is this like? I think I got used to it because starting in the US. Yeah. I think the US is even more crazier. Yeah. Um, this is actually almost like nothing compared with some bigger events. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're clear from the right. There's a lot of people around though. <laughs> yeah. We're getting some photos of some friends in front. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me point the uh, AC down at it. <laughs> Try and cool it down faster. Yes. So all Fs were manual. Um, there were 25 coupes and 25 roadsters, was it? Actually, 23 roadsters. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Half roadsters. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's nasty. That car was a bit <laughs> smashed. But this car, you were telling me, obviously converted. Yeah. And not just converted, it was done at like record speed. Oh yeah, because I bought the car in April. And then uh, the Pagani Reduno is in June. So we have a little bit, about a month and so. Uh, but after getting all the paperwork done, that took about two or three weeks already. Yeah. So we're left with about a month exactly for the Reduno. Okay. But then I wanted to be left and drive and I all the Cinque Part XP exhaust on there. Uh, initially, everybody, including a lot of people at the factory said, Mike, that's impossible. That's yeah. not doable. No so way. That's like, because that should be a year. Six, six Normally months. about six months okay. to nine months for the conversion of the steering wheel. Yeah. So I popped down to the factory. Um, Harisha was there, so we, we spoke and I told him what I want to do. Yeah. He went to the production line, told the manager, production manager, and then he told me, yeah, it's done. You'll have your car ready. <laughs> Not only this one, because the red roaster also needed uh, the chinque parts and the exhaust. So wait, let me get this right. In less than a month, they moved the steering wheel from this side to that side. Yep. And everything connected to that. Yep. Column, the whole lot. Yep. That's absurd. That's that's amazing. I was so glad and I was so happy and yeah. very grateful for Horatio to do this because they actually work all the way till 11 p.m. sometimes. Yeah. Because they keep sending me updates. and. Okay. Um, sometimes even video calls, he will call me like 11 p.m. in Italian time as well. Yeah. And still walk out my car at 11 p.m. That's unheard that's, of. That's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. So thanks to Pagani, thanks to the guys at Pagani, and obviously Horatio Pagani as well. Yeah. For make this, to make this happen. That's really, really, yeah. really cool. Because it was so funny because Alex took the photos of my car yeah. in London while I picked that up. No, it's still the original spec. Yeah. And a month later, after the Reduno, he was like, am I seeing things where well, the steering wheel is on the wrong side? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, I remember it was a right-hand drive car. How come the steering wheel is on the left already? Well, obviously part of me is a little bit sad that 
the UK lost the Zonda, so ah, to speak. It's but not. I'm, I'm very happy that it's in your hands because yeah. I know it's going to be driven, enjoyed, and everyone will be able to see it and share and bask in its glory because ah, these things, you know, it's. How else do you describe it, right? Glory, that's what yes. this is. Listen to that. <laughs> you just have <laughs> to watch out for the slippy roads here. It is very slippery. Yeah. The road is very slippery here. Oh, that whale. Wait till we get out of town. You've got to love the roads up here. <laughs> get the shots. <laughs> The noise, there's nothing like it, is there? Yeah. Massive NAV12. The best sounding car on the planet. Best sounding road car. Let me rephrase that. Okay. <laughs> Race car, Zonda or Huayra? Oof, that's a very difficult choice. The Zonda R and the Huayra are a completely different sound. Yeah. Let's pop in six gears so we can talk. It's quiet. That's very nearly civilized. Silent. Yeah. Nearly silent. <laughs> <laughs> I think they liked it. Yeah. Crazy. There's also another special thing about the Zonda. It's not always shouting. It's yeah. not always obnoxious. You can choose that. Yeah. And six drop gear. it down from sixth to second and all of a sudden it becomes a noisy, <laughs> a noisy monster. Yeah, hell break loose. Look at the views up here. This place is insane. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. That's flames. Yes. That is epic. Pulling in over here. Quick pause. Yes. All right. Now it's your turn again. Swap time. <laughs> hey. Yep. Okay. <laughs> These kind of roads. All right. Let's yes. climb out. Pagani's on the F. Swap time. Oh. The paint color of this is so nice in the sunshine. No, I'm not normally a white car fan, but the pearl on Same. this. Same, this is grow on me as well. Yeah. Okay, fall in. Bianco Benny, this is, you know, named after one of Horatio's yeah. best friends. Benny Caiola. Yep. The first Pagani customer, in fact. Yep, they are working on something for me as well. Oh, really? <laughs> There'll be a paint cone. Dedicated to me now as well. That's cool. Yep. You know we've got to do the roll swap. You've got to become the cameraman. Uh, yes, as <laughs> usual. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I got used to this now. Poor. Oh, okay. No pressure. Gosh, you don't really see much in that mirror over there, do you? In here? No. You can adjust it. But I mean, it's behind the A pillar. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's completely. <laughs> that's that's that you can't change. Okay. Right. Let's just figure how everything works. Mirrors are all good. When you hop into a car that's this special and this valuable, you take your time. <laughs> you, uh, you think for a moment. Okay, first gear in the Pagani Zonda. Right. You know what? Never in my wildest dreams when I filmed this car back in 2015 but I think I might one day be driving it. Again. <laughs> just taking it easy, up through the gears. There's something about it, isn't it? It's just... You have to give it quite a bit of throttle. Yeah. So flip the shift in. And then the torquey engine. Marbles. I mean, look at this place. How cool is this? Twisty roads up in the hills in your Zonda. <laughs> this is absolutely surreal, Mike. You need to give it more throttle than that to get the cracks. Yep. Almost red line. Really? Yep. This is 4,000 or so RPM. Second gear, six speed manual. So, are you more 
more a manual guy or a paddles guy for a Zonda? For Zonda or of course the manual. Yeah. Um, Letting it sing, right? Just yes. letting it sing as we cruise down the roads here. Unfortunately, there's a bit of traffic ahead. I can't really do so much about that, but absolutely heavenly. <laughs> I need to be more aggressive. I'm trying to be too delicate with your, well, one of your babies here, literally. Oh, this place is so cool. Oh, there we go. Little one, little bit of banging going on behind us. Yes. Okay, let's make it do it. Need to do more than that. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is like. You know better than I do where the values of these things are, but these are 10, 15 million dollar cars in no time at all. Yes. These things in the future. I also, there's a lot of owners that reach out to you. They yeah. said, no, it's not subject of money anymore. I'm just never going to sell the car. You don't want to sell it. It's, yep. it's so, it's like even if you put a 10 million dollar price tag on it, you don't want to sell it. It's, no, it's, they say, some people say they have sentimental values yeah. to them, so they will never ever sell. There's also people who said, no, I'll just, I can sell any car in my collection, yeah. just not a Zonda. Would you ever want to do a Cinque or a Tricolore or something like that? Would you prefer the 760 build it yourself? I wanted, your I wanted <laughs> the Cinque. Yeah. But now it's so expensive. Yeah. Um, and that, that would be fifteen million dollars or something, right? No more. Easily. More? Yeah. Yeah. That downshift. <laughs> <laughs> like just when you blip this thing and you go through the gear. It's like, it's such a cool feeling. Such a cool feeling. And now you got it. <laughs> so what are the plans for the future? What's, ha what's happening with your Zondas? What can you tell us? What, what, do you, what do you mind or not mind sharing with everyone about the plans? Well, there's a Zonda MY coming. It's going to be a oh. one-off. why I say they're making, you know, a special color for me as well. Yeah. It'll be a color. Under MY. Yeah. You have never seen before. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited about that. Secrets here, guys. Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see actually next year. Yeah. You'll be done by next year. Cool. 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 We're nearly back at base. It's been a lovely place to drive this, hasn't it? Yep. I like to take the cars out. <laughs> All the camera phones hanging out of every window. <laughs> Not every day that you see a Zonda. I say around here, but you do from time to time. But just to be part of all of this with all the cars. Have you enjoyed driving one of your cars that was voted for one of the top best cars in the event? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad, actually, you give me a nice, nice reward. Yeah, you got a wicked prize for that. I think my prize is the best one. I don't know more. To I Monaco think, next year. To go to the Monaco F1. Yeah. Just first gear. That symphony. Okay, windows down a touch. I think everyone up here knows that we're coming now. They've heard it. <laughs> See. The whale off the rocks as well. <laughs> Do that again, first gear. 
<laughs> That's a good sound. That's cool. Off the throttle and then gently back on it. Can I give everyone a little blip? <laughs> Are you okay with that? Sure, go ahead. Very gently cruise through here. <laughs> Still loading other cars, so yeah, we can so go there. Head inside the hotel for the minute. Yes. Wow. Where should we go? Out to the front, or go should we go the in front. the car park? Because uh, I still see you want to take some picture of, oh, of the car fair, again. Fair, fair. For their 10 year anniversary book. Crazy, absolutely crazy. What a drive. I guess we'll just park kind of here. here for the moment if they're going to Let's move put it in the shade. You want to put it in the shade? Yes, I don't want to burn the canopy. <laughs> <laughs> we will squeeze the car under the canopy. Yes. There we go. There we'll we just go. leave it there for the moment. Yep. It's not very neat, but it will do. Mike, this was epic. Thank you. <laughs> no, Thank you so you're much. Welcome. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> you don't want to get out now. <laughs> no, I want to go again. <laughs> you don't want to get out we've anymore. We've still got time. Let's take it for another run. <laughs> right, we don't need to end now. We don't need to end now. While we have an opportunity here with the engine clam open, back here, 7.3 liters of AMG V12, 600 odd horsepower, insane sound, and that's the Barquetta exhaust system, the HP Barquetta being the open final version effectively of the Zonda, three cars, four Horatio's dream car. It's a work of art, isn't it? This full carbon fiber rear clam, even the titanium of the exhaust, airbox back here, the exposed suspension components, the way it's all engineered, the storage bins that you have for your luggage here, full carbon tub, everything about this. It's really special, this car. We're back, some photos have been taken of the car parked here at the entrance of the hotel. This thing is so cool and like I said when driving, to now get behind the wheel of a car that I took a walk around of about eight years ago is the ultimate in just crazy dreamland. It's a huge thanks to Mike for sharing these cars, for driving these cars, for taking them to the different events. And there's some exciting stuff to come, as he's alluded to, plus I gather maybe even more as well. So you have to stay tuned for that. For now though, what a time it's been here in Spain with Supercar Owners Circle. We've still got some more things coming up as well, but I guess we should probably wrap it up there. Photos have been taken, the car is amazing, the Zonda is an icon. There's a reason that these things are rapidly entering eight-figure price tag categories. They are awesome. It's an icon, it's a legend. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. That's it for this time, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.